Hello dear students welcome to physics bridge course for class 11 students I hope you have uh, seen the last two sessions that I discussed about competitive examinations how the marks distribution takes place and what is your class 11 and 12 syllabus and about practical introduction to physics department that we have discussed in the last two session today i am going to discuss what is physics and what are the different branches of physics now let us start the class so first we have to know what is physics in your class 9th and 10th standard you have only science textbook but now you are going to enter the science field so in that science again you are having sub branches like physics chemistry and biology remember science means it deals with the study of nature nature means that everything surrounded by us that may be living things or non living things whatever the things are surrounded by us so about that you are going to study under science but now when you enter the science field that you are going to study the sub branches of science so science is mainly divided into two branches physical science and biological science physical science deals with non living things and biological science deals with living things now leave about biological science we are concentrating only on physical science dear students physical science is again divided into two branches and they are physics and chemistry again leave about chemistry now let us concentrate only on the subject physics so what is physics dear students the word physics that came from latin word you can observe this screen physic or physic means physical thing in english the meaning of physic means physical thing physical thing means the outer look for example i can see the sky sky appears in blue color why the sky appears in blue color that is the physical look that is the physical thing so physic means physical thing and the word physica physica is a latin word here in the late 15th century from the latin word physica we are going to consider the physical things and in greek when it comes to greek we are using the word physis physis means nature physica means natural things so the word physics that came from greek word physis in latin physica and in greek physica means natural things so that indicates physics is the branch of science and that is going to deal with nature and natural things nature means everything surrounded by us natural things that means natural phenomenon natural phenomena so that means uh, you can every day you can observe sunrise and sunset so why sunrise and sunset appears in reddish color why there is a seven colors what is that rainbow why the clouds are in white color why the stars are twinkling why there is a day and a night why only a 24 hour for uh, one day so these all are the natural phenomenon that takes place in every day so why these all natural phenomenon are going to takes place what it mean why it appears in red color so why the sky is in blue color so there are many natural phenomenon we can observe in our daily life so in physics you are going to study about nature and all the natural phenomenon so then what is physics physics is the study of physical world 
physical world means only the outer look of this universe is it clear a science that deals with matter and energy and their interactions a science that deals with matter so then what is matter you already studied in your high school days anything that occupies space and have mass that is called a matter if you are sitting on the chair so that occupies certain space and it is having certain mass that is a matter and a science deals with energy so what is energy we need some energy to do work the capacity to do work is itself a energy and there are uh, many branches in energy you studied about kinetic energy potential energy heat energy thermal energy electrical energy so there are many branches of energy and that energy we required to do certain work so a science that deals with matter and energy and their interactions suppose if if i had some food then i can easily walk i can easily run i can listen i can teach so energy is required to do some work and the interactions so in matter it is mainly divided into three types solid liquid and gases so you are going to convert a solid into liquid for example ice is converted into water water is converted into vapor so here interactions of the molecules takes place remember matter that is completely consisting of molecules molecules consisting of atoms atoms consisting of protons electrons neutrons some minute particles that constitutes matter so if molecules or atoms interacted what happens in detail you are going to study in science and physics can be used to explain every object and phenomena around you every object surrounded by you and their phenomena you are going to study under physics then what is physics physics is the branch of science that describes the motion and energy of all matter throughout the universe or simply we can say physics is the branch of science that deals with nature and natural phenomena or motion and energy of all the matter motion you already studied newton's law of motion in 9th standard or in 8th standard so you studied three newton's laws of motion that is only the basic concept related to motion and also energy energy means i already told you this is capacity to do work which is related to matter so throughout the universe in physics you are going to study about motion energy and its matter now come to the branches of physics so physics is a very broad subject we can't study everything under physics so that's why physics is again divided into many branches now we can discuss some main branches of physics areas within the physics i already told you science is divided into two branches and they are physical science and biological science physical science is again divided into two branches and they are physics and chemistry so here physics is divided into many important branches the main branches we can study here is quantum mechanics waves relativity optics thermodynamics electromagnetism and mechanics in class 11 and 12 we are going to study about mechanics thermodynamics optics electromagnetism and quantum mechanism relativity you are going to study in your higher education so now what is uh, optics and what is thermodynamics so i will explain you all the branches of physics now let us discuss each one of them so first we can discuss optics 
ऑप्टिक्स इज ऑल अबाउट लाइट एनर्जी ऑप्टिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी यू हैव स्टडीड इन यूर नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट डिस्पर्शन ऑफ लाइट हाउ द रे ऑफ लाइट इज टर्निंग बैक टू द सेम मीडियम सो हाउ द वाइट लाइट इज स्प्लिटेड इन टू सेवन कलर्स बिकॉज ऑफ डिस्पर्शन ऑफ लाइट and when a ray of light is traveling from one medium to another medium why the ray of light is bending and what is the speed of light so you are going to study about light energy in detail in the optics branch and then come to thermodynamics thermodynamics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of heat and temperature so you can observe the word thermodynamics thermo thermal heat energy dynamic means it is the motion that means in a thermodynamic you are going to study about heat and temperature how to measure temperature of the object using thermometer easily we can measure the temperature so what is temperature so here how the solid is converted into liquid how the temperature changes we know that for example if i am going to consider hot water in a glass after few minutes the temperature of hot water decreases so why the temperature of hot water is decreasing because compared to room temperature the temperature of hot water is greater so the temperature gone decreases until the room temperature and the temperature of water will reaches thermal equilibrium so everything related to heat energy and temperature you are going to study under the branch thermodynamics now come to electromagnetism that means electricity and magnetism how the electric current is produced what are the charges what are the properties of charges see here when we are talking about charge either you can consider positive charge or negative charge or proton or electron here what happens charge is surrounded by electric field because of that electric field electrostatic force will be created and when that electrostatic force is produced so that charge starts to move when the charge is moving in particular direction that constitutes electric current that current may be steady current or that may be alternating current so in electric uh, in electricity and magnetism you are going to study about uh, the many terms related to current electricity just like a resistors inductors capacitors semiconductors what are positive and negative ions what are holes so here in detail you are going to study about electricity and magnetism so you studied in 9th uh, or 10th in 10th uh, standard about uh, faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction just by using one bar magnet and a coil we are going to produce the current so in detail you are going to study in electromagnetism now come to mechanics mechanics means motion mechanics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of moving objects here in mechanics again there are two branches statics and dynamics statics related to rest bodies and dynamics related to moving bodies so for example in mechanics you are going to study about motion in a straight line motion in a plane what is velocity what is acceleration what is retardation displacement and uh, the many concepts related to moving bodies you are going to study under mechanics so now we discussed optics thermodynamics electromagnetism and mechanics now come to quantum mechanics waves and relativity so here waves means in physics mathematics and related fields 
a wave is a disturbance of one or more more fields such that the field values oscillate repeatedly about a stable equilibrium value if the relative amplitude of oscillation at different points in the field remains constant we can call it as standing waves so you are going to study about different types of waves uh, for example simply i can say you about electromagnetic waves we say that light is an electromagnetic wave you know the different types of electromagnetic waves such as ultraviolet rays x rays infrared rays visible light so these all are the types of electromagnetic wave wave is a disturbance and you already studied about sound waves so in detail about uh, waves and its types you are going to study in the branch waves and come to relativity so relativity uh, we know that the law of physics do not change even for objects moving at inertial constant uh, speed frame of references so here you can observe uh, the speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second it is the same for all observers regardless of their relative motion to the source of light relative motion for example if i am sitting in a train and the train is moving how you came to know that your train is moving so we can easily say that the surrounding things are moving back our train is moving forward we are comparing that is relative motion so relative motion or relativity uh, so it is einstein's work that creates a fundamental link between space and time space and time that comes under relativity and the last one is quantum mechanics quanta means small packets of energy quanta means small tiny particle quantum mechanics uh, you studied about mechanics and this is quantum mechanics the difference between them is mechanics means moving objects quantum mechanics means moving smallest particles which are invisible for our naked eyes for example about electron protons and neutrons how will be the movement of those smallest particles that you are going to study in detail under quantum mechanics so these are the main branches of physics remember dear students optics related to light energy thermodynamics related to heat and temperature mechanics related to moving objects electromagnetism related to electric current and magnetic field relativity is related to space and time waves means the sort of disturbance quantum mechanics related to the movement of smallest particles so these are the main branches of physics so in this session we studied what is physics and what are the different branches of physics thank you